Alrighty, let's get things started here. Going to Smashville. Okay, small stage. That allows close quarters combat with the Pokemon trainer to work. Withdraw the 17%? Really? Oh, wow. Fair into the upper. Wow, Pandarian's not messing around right now. Wow, the get up attack had the invincibility frames and then still attack them afterwards. Interesting. Razor Leaf, no up airs after. Ooh, try to get a fair afterwards, but the, the beat, just beat, beat out in the frames would look like from that back air. Gonna land with Charizard. Reverse Nair? Doesn't look like it really did anything. Yeah, that's uh, kind of a free stock. It looked like he was about to reach the ledge, too, so good timing for Sonic, actually, to get that. Interesting dare. Wow. Not gonna find that for Smash, unfortunately. Oh, the Nair. Wow, so much damage has been landed. Dash attack comes in. Wow, the dash attack. Uh, you don't really see that too much from Ice here just because it's very committal. That Razor Leaf is not committal though. Oh my god, the spot dodge just to get rid of the... Or just to get out of the way in time. Is the back airs? Uh, up throw. Not gonna get the Vine Whip afterwards though. Right in there, into the back air. Back air comes out. Both of these two really just uh, keeping it neutral, but Pandarian's been doing a good job of bringing it back around. It's another back air. Ooh, trying to find the dare on like a low curve or something like that. Back air. Just immediately just to be able to get him off of them before the force smash comes out. No force smash comes in. It's a fair out of shield. Who's gonna take this next stock? I feel like that's gonna be a big determining factor who actually takes this first game here. And remember, it's still up. That's all oh, the down smash! Mm, yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Back throw. Come on, spin dash. Move forward there. Looks like Pandarian's having a hard time just sealing out the kill. Sonic's is just roaming all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Trying to make it back. Ooh. Wow. Got some launch upwards afterwards. That was weird. Get up attack, still not enough to do it. There we go, the up air. Got like the side hitbox of that that still was able to kill. 88% separating these two. Now 95%. And I th wow, I actually caught after the directional air dodge. That was crazy. I wonder how Pandarian's gonna get out of this mess. He's not gonna get caught by the back air with a jump to the stage. And Sonic's gonna take game one. See what this new stage is gonna be. Ready? All 
Alrighty, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the point. Oh, no, I did get the point. Sonic, so just didn't update. That was weird. All right, here we go. Yoshi's Island. Um, basically the other Smashville, as far as I can tell. I mean, there's the slimes and stuff like that. Wow, big combo coming from the Squirtle right now. And the up tilt actually catches the homing attack into the Vine Whip. Great zero to death from Pandarian. Amazing start in game two, especially for Pandarian. Ooh, Tech Chase, not able to find an up tilt though. Razor Leaf into up air, tries to get the Vine Whip afterwards. Still overlapping the stock percentages already. Looks like the stage was a great pick for Pandarian overall. The, the middle platform is slightly wider, so it makes it a little bit easier to juggle. Not gonna get that forward smash, but the down tilt actually. Looks like Sonic's got a little bit too greedy, trying to get a bigger punish, but they should have just done the fair like he did last time. Wow, just dash up into the forward smash? Great recognition knowing that he drops shields usually after the Razor Leaf, so he's able to condition him and then get that uh, confirmed into a kill. Oh, I thought he was gonna upgrade there. But there, yeah. You're in, you're uh, vulnerable the entire time you get pulled up to the stage, so you gotta be careful about that. But already Sonic's on his last stock after that board smash, and withdraw. Oh no! Okay. Woo! Yeah, I know withdraw changes your knockback, but I thought that was gonna be really bad at first second. I thought we were gonna see an SD or something. I'd rather go switch to Obby Sword and brought it back, actually, so maybe my worries were unwarranted. Another Vine Whip. That knockback is so huge! Who gave that to Ivysaur? Well, that actually really sucks. I don't know if you guys saw what happened, but he like used the Vine Whip high, and then he went downward because that's how physics works in this game. <laughs> to swing back to the stage. And then he hit the spring that was coming all the way down. That sucks so much. There's a fair. What do we do here now? Not gonna get anything. Oh, side across, that should be it, yeah. Especially on a, game, on a, on a stage like Yoshi's Island, that's, that's definitely the stock. I don't like this new Pokemon trainer's voice, I won't lie. I wish they used Ash's voice again. Well. The only SoCal local that ends before 1 a.m. is an online tourney. <laughs> I feel that, man. But we have infinite setups when we play it online, so makes sense, I guess. All right, Pandarian wins that next match. All right, we're going to game three. This is potentially our last match of the night, everyone. We're going to final destination where Pandarian won the first time around in Winterside. Here we go. Go for it. Three, two, one, go. I was so confused for a second. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, there's the squirrels up though. Um, just uh, 
Oh wow, that was cool. Using the intangibility from the Pokemon Switch to get through that whiff grab. It looks like Sonic wasn't ready for it. Oh no. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, sure. I feel like Ivysaur's voice sounds the most like a human. I don't know why. It just feels like they didn't really make an effort to make it sound like an animal or like a like a, a being, you know? And there he's trying to space away right here. Can I get that grab. Divine Whip almost did it. Wow. Not able to find that it is a very strong smash attack, but four smashes usually better because it covers more range as well. Ooh, quick spot dodge into up smash. That takes the next stock. Alright, double back air, triple back air. Try to go for quadruple back air there. Not able to find it down still. Not enough to save him. I thought that crash cancel might have helped him out. But still a significant lead for Pandarian right now. Oh, that's not good though. Where did that lead go? Oh my god! Sonic's with a really crazy stock and an early kill at like 60. Didn't even get touched that second stock. Now Pandarian has to bring this back, but. Whoa, uh, wh uh, <laughs> was that a bait? That was a bait. That was, a, that was the sickest bait I've ever seen in my life. He just, he just pretended that he was gonna SD, then made Sonic to try to go chase him down there, and then like, brought it back, wow. Swings right around the spring. Lucky for him. Attack. Not able to land right now. Will he make it back though? Yes, he does. He, he presses it earlier just so he doesn't swing downward. Will he make it back again? Yes, he will. And Darian really got to play from behind right now. If he can get some kind of crazy like dare or something, he might be able to seal it out. But I feel like Sonic's is not the type of person to really let his opponent get something like that. We will have to see though. He's still trying to play this out. Jab's not enough to do it. Goes into the Charizard. Oh, bring it back around. What's he gonna do here? Oh, I'm so scared about Charizard's dare. That could end it right now. Of course, Charizard is heavy, so those spin dash combos might work a little bit better on him. Oh, get up attack. Oh, reverse dare. Tries to get the back air. Another nair. Oh, he's in kill percent all of a sudden. Oh, the dash attack put him off stage. Is he gonna get the dare? No, he decides to stay on stage. Tries to get another dare. Goes back off stage. Sonics with the attempted edge guard. Not gonna get anything with the spring. Comes back around. Landing with the nair. So careful all of a sudden. Pops right out of that spin attack. Gets that nair. Gets that throw. Pulls for the four throws this time around. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see option at the ledge. Tries to bring it back. 212% already on Pandarian. Uses all those aerials to try and make it back. No back air comes out. I feel like if he just gets a throw, he could do it. How does he land? He does. He gets, goes with the fourth the air. Oh, and the smash attack comes in. We're getting a reset. Shut up, Sonic. That did not look too easy at all. That was not looking fun. All right, guys, we're in grander finals. I can't believe Pandaren almost brought that back. He was he was about to actually do that to him. Dang. What a god.
I need to calm down. Alright guys, last set of the day. And then I can go to sleep! Or something else. Alrighty, we're going to Smashville for our first match again. each other right now. Looks like Sonic's been winning those interactions though. He knows how Pandarian wants to land now, so I feel like he's a little bit more aware. Oh. Okay. Keep the jumps. It's fine. Moves on to the Squirtle. Let's see if he can try and get a good early percent combo. Might be able to bring that back around. Ooh. Interesting. It looks like the upset was trying to go through, but the uh, back air beat it out that time. Yeah, Sonic. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. For some reason, it just does not register to the stage, even though it looks like Vine Whip should reach. I don't even know what it is. Alright, um, I have to leave for a second. I cannot believe what that edge guard was. He ran all the way down and then springed his jump and then made it back? What kind of play was that? All right, down throw to Vine Whip, we'll be able to solidify it though. Sonic's is uh, kind of playing with his food. Or either that or, uh, either that or is the most strategic thing I've ever seen in the world. That was so weird. I can't believe that actually worked. Yeah, uh, this game is looking like a wrap. Like, I mean, I know Pandarian brought it back the first game in the Grand Finals, or like in the last game of the Grand Finals, but just the way Sonic's playing, I feel like that's not gonna happen this time around. Not able to find anything. This is looking kind of tough. Yeah. Panarin's been jumping towards the stage every a, a lot, so Sonic's been catching that pretty easily. That was a really quick first game. That, that second stock was very questionable. I don't even know if that was intentional or not, but it happened, so I have to give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was. And if so, that was a really crazy play, and I can't believe he actually did that. Just called out Pandarian, kind of getting greedy or something. That was weird. Here we go. Go for it. Three, two, one, go. All right, we're on Pokemon Stadium home turf. This could be it. Go. 
Wow. Sonic's put on a lot of damage on Pandarian just from those spin dash combos. I don't know why people are saying that Sonic's is, uh, or Sonic is, like, nerfed and, like, dead. He's still a really great character. At least that's what Sonic isn't showing. I think it's definitely a case of, he doesn't play, like, Smash 4, so he's not that good. Wow. Run off fair into run off fair. Again with the jump back. Ooh, the spring. Yeah, still, Pandarian with the jumps. Looks like he's content to do it. I, I'm sure Sonic's gonna try to call it out with another back air once he gets the control again. Interesting air dodge. I don't think he meant to go that far out. Probably. Yep, yep. Took to the skies, but the back air's gonna come out first to stuff up that uh, approach again. Oop. All right, looks like... Okay, there we go. Pandarian trying to really get something started, but it's not quite working. He just stays away from the Razor Leafs, and he doesn't have to worry about it. Well, not not so much anymore. There we go. Yeah, he's staying away from it. And yeah, okay, that was smart. So I just caught him. Caught Pandarian trying to throw it out too much. Okay, again, throwing out those Razor Leaves, but it looks like Sonic's doing a good job of uh, playing around it. Yeah, and just every time, just, Sonic's aerials are just faster, so every time a Pandarian tries to land with one or something, Sonic just comes out first. Let's see what Pandarian tries to do. Oh wow, just run up up smash. I mean, that'll work, sure. Let's see what kind of stock he can get here. Yeah, Sonic might just be content to... I feel like he should try to switch to the Squirtle. He's got the better frame data with that character. He's been getting outbeaten in frames, I feel, too many times in air-to-air -air and ground-to-air interactions. Alright, up air, up air. Yep, the Pokemon platform definitely lets you get that very easily. All right, keep him off stage. Into the spin dash. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he tried to go for a low one, so he didn't get four smash like last time. But that didn't quite work out. Run off. Up air. Yep, that's a pretty good tool to use. Oh, there, not quite gonna find it. Spin dash. Into the homing attack. I feel like this is curtains for Pandarian. Sonic's just uh, taking advantage of Pokemon Trainer's uh, disadvantages right now. A little bit too hard. Alright, the Charizard's coming in. Throw comes in. Wow, get up. oh yeah, get up attack will go through that, of course. Oh, calls out the spot dodge. Nice stuff from Sonic with the charge. Jump fair, gonna be able to get around that. Let's see if Pandarian can try to close this out. Doesn't look like it though. Uses the Pokemon Trainer invincibility and is uh, able to switch out back into Ivysaur. Oh, he's fishing right now. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to find it though. Yeah, there's the fair. That'll be it. Great job to Sonic's keeping it clean. Even being beaten in winners. Gonna finish it off in grander finals with a 2-0. Nice stuff overall. Okay, so I know that uh I, I've been told to to host someone. Uh be sure to I, I think uh JMX or someone is uh on the on the channel right now. Uh, but